I am an optimist and I see the good in people and I like to see the good in people. And it's not that I'm naive. I'm, I'm aware that many people are awful and I'm aware of all the horrors, the inquisitions and the pogroms and the enslavement of others and the, the poverty. And I'm well aware of the horrors that human beings can inflict on each other. But at the same time, we have so many wonderful qualities we humans do that are very rare in the animal kingdom. These include the capacity for love, the capacity for friendship, the fact that we cooperate with each other, uh, that we make sacrifices to even benefit strangers, that we teach and learn from each other. These things that many listeners are probably taking for granted are actually very rare in the animal kingdom, and yet we do them naturally. We evolved to do them, and I think this is miraculous. You know, I think that these, these wonderful qualities that bind us together, you know, that, are, that reflect our common humanity, are unbelievably unbelievable and wonderful to, to see. And so this is one of the reasons I'm optimistic. Uh, let me say something about this that connects the, the points. One is that there's a, even a sense in which the spread of germs is the price we pay for the spread of ideas. What do I mean by that? One of the reasons we have evolved to live socially is to learn from each other. Y any animal can learn on its own. A little fish in the sea can learn that if it swims up to the light, it'll find food there. But we don't just learn independently like that, we learn socially. You put your hand in the fire, you learn that it burns, uh, so you, that's independent learning, or I can watch you put your hand in the fire, and I get almost as much learning and I pay none of the cost, which is incredibly efficient, that capacity for social learning. So we evolved to live socially in part to get the benefits of the spread of ideas. But the irony is that the germs exploit those same qualities. The fact that we live socially, the fact that we make social networks, these are the highways across which the germs travel. That's why I said the spread of germs is the price we pay for the spread of ideas. But the irony is that the opposite is also true, that it's through the spread of ideas that we're gonna beat back the germ. It's precisely because we can work together, we can cooperate, we can exchange information. These are the tools we're gonna to use, ultimately in my view, to have victory over this virus.